shut them down. Zone B captured. You have zone advantage. Today, we have an extremely viable build, and my friend told me about it, and it might be out there already, I don't know. I changed some things to make it a little bit better, in my opinion. It's very, very strong. It's all about a one-shot magnetic grenade on Voidlock, and the gameplay loop is nuts. It's perfect synergy. You're going to be seeing Monarch, Shire's Wrath with Adrenaline Junkie, Shire's Wrath with Golden Tricorn, Palindrome, and more. And for some of these weapons, I'm going to talk about a little bit more in depth. Straight up, this is strong. Meta strong. Like, you should be seeing these Warlocks out there. You have a one-shot Sticky, you have Devour, and that plays a big part to the gameplay loop, and then Volatile Rounds. It's sick. For the Aspects, Child of the Old Gods, it grants two fragments. That's the Void Soul. Using this mostly for the two Void Fragments, but the little Void Buddy's awesome. Feed the Void, Devour. Defeat a target with a Void ability to activate Devour. The Grenade, you want it magnetic. Fragments, Expulsion. Void ability final blows cause targets to explode. Instability, defeating targets with grenades grants volatile rounds to your void weapons. Echo of undermining, your void grenades weaken targets, and then echo of persistence. Void buffs apply to you, and in our case devour, have an increased duration. On the void lock, there are important things that you need, and then there are things that make it better. I'm gonna say when. Must have, Verity's Brow. The fourth magic. Weapon final blows with a damage type matching your subclass energy grant Death Throws, which provides a grenade damage bonus and grants you grenade energy. When you have Death Throws and throw a grenade, nearby allies gain greatly increased grenade regeneration for a short time. You must be using a void weapon. On the Gauntlets, Stasis, Grenade Kickstart, and Fastball. Fastball is the most essential thing. You cannot have Kickstart or maybe use Void Gloves for bolstering. And remember with that one, when you get grenade tags, it gives you class ability energy. The class item, Double Bomber. Using your Rift gives you grenade energy. Discipline stat, 100 max. You have the fastest grenade possible. You have kickstart on that grenade. You have double bomber for the grenade energy. Old Gods drains targets and gives you grenade energy. And with this setup, after you get a kill with your void weapon, Death Rose goes on the screen for 11 seconds. All you need is one kill with your weapon. And here's where the magic happens. It's beautiful. When you throw that magnetic grenade, kickstart goes off, gives you a little bit of grenade energy. When it hits the enemy, it hits for two damage. That's the actual stick. That procs undermining. The two explosions from the magnetic grenade are doing more damage because they're weakened due to your fragment, and they're doing more damage because of death throws. When you get that kill, your void weapon has volatile rounds. You also have devour. And with persistence, devour is lasting longer. As you go on your streak, getting kills with the void weapon, it's reprocking the death throws timer, adding stacks to it, and those void kills, while devour is up, is granting grenade energy. And also your health refreshes after you get that kill because you have devour up. And it gets really special when you have a void demolitionist weapon, like the snarling hunger, because the demo energy, combined with getting kills while devour is active, gets that grenade back even faster. There's an opportunity to keep looping it. Get a kill with your void weapon, get the one shot sticky. Proc Devour, keep getting void kills, and the first little part of your streak, it has volatile rounds. Devour is up, getting more grenade energy with those kills, and you just go stick another enemy. Extremely strong. And something to point out, this is just how it is, always. There's no artifact mods needed. This works now, it'll work next season and beyond because it's all aspects, fragments, and an exotic. Yes, it will work in trials. Imagine using a sniper like a 1K, a frozen orbit. Get the sniper headshot. You have 11 seconds to go stick one of the remaining enemies. It will work, it does work, very viable. So let's talk about weapons. My favorite is Shire's Wrath, hands down. Very good base TTK. The updated versions of the Wrath have Adrenaline Junkie or Golden Tricorn. Now Tricorn is a challenge, but it's one of the easiest ways ever to get Golden Tricorn times two. Cause you get a kill with Shire, stick someone, it's a times two. 50% more damage with Volatile Rounds. But I do prefer Adrenaline Junkie because it's seamless. You're getting one-shot stickies anyway, you might as well throw it right into a times five with 33% more damage with Volatile Rounds, with Devour. That's really the cool thing about it. There are a ton of meta void weapons. You don't really have to change the weapons that you use. You have that freedom. You wanna play PVE and PVP? Run the Adrenaline Junkie Funnel Web. You got a God Roll Palindrome? Perfect, get a kill with it, go stick someone. The three weapons that are probably gonna get used the most with this are Shire's Wrath, Palindrome, and Monarch. Now Monarch is an interesting one. 
I need to keep testing some of the interactions, but use the Monarch as normal. You're eventually going to get a Monarch kill. You then have the one shot sticky and then you have Monarch with volatile rounds. Now, in theory, if there's a lot of enemies close together, it should spread the volatile rounds, but I'm unsure if the poison damage will make the volatile rounds explode. I don't know, but all these weapons are meta weapons, Shira, Palindrome, Monarch. You can throw on Lorenz Driver. You can throw on Aisha's any void weapon and go have some fun with it. That's pretty much the basic build. That's it. That's how you do it. And for the rest of the video, I do have some more gameplay with different weapons and you can see how this build gets going. It's very fun. It's very easy. It's very deadly. If you're new here, remember to hit the subscribe button. And if you are subscribed, thank you so much for your support. Let's talk about this down below. What would you add to the build? Thank you for watching. And until the next one, I am cool guy. Zone B captured. You have zone advantage. Two for one. Be lost. They have advantage. Your moments of clarity are weapons, Warner. Zone B captured. Zone advantage is yours. This is amazing. Keep it up. And victory is yours. Two for one. Three minutes. Hold strong, and this battle is yours. Moments of clarity are weapons, warlock.